Welcome back, everyone. Soul music has been around since the late 50s. According to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, soul is music that arose out of the black experience in America. Well, there is a soul experience happening right here in Jacksonville on July 22nd that you should know about. It features artist Betty Wright, Angela Winbush, Glenn Jones, and Shirley Murdoch. Joining us now with details on this concert, we welcome the CEO of Full Entertainment, Mr. William Davis. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the First of all, you look like you're eight. <laughs> so, with a beard, an eight-year-old with a beard. <laughs> there's a little rumor that you're like one of the youngest promoters around. Yes. How did you get it in such a? It's a competitive business, right? And it's a throat, a cutthroat, and a hard business. How did you get in it so young? <laughs> uh, well, I had uh, I had saved my money mm. and I threw a party, and um, I made like fifteen grand on that party. In one night, your first in one party, night, my very first party. Oh, wow. wow. So what I did was, I was thinking like, well, who? make a lot of money doing concerts because I was in college at the time. I wow. stopped going to college and everything. I dropped that. Oh, no. Oh, oh, my mom didn't even know I dropped that. Oh, yeah. no. Did you get a whooping when she found out? No, I didn't. Did I just say whooping? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, I didn't get a whooping. Uh, what I did was I dropped out of college and I went and studying. I went and doing my research and I found a mentor and he took me up under and uh, here I am. Wow. So how many, how many parties have you hosted? Well, that was my only party. Okay. I didn't want to do parties because, like, I wanted, I wanted a, a real lavish lifestyle. I stopped doing parties and started doing concerts. So okay. I'm, a, I'm a national promoter. I do concerts all over the country. Hmm. So no more parties. I, I'm working on tours. You did right? one, the real did it right, and then moved on. So yeah. that was just a stepping stone. Yeah. Right, yes. <laughs> so I've always wondered, when I hear these commercials on the radio of the lineup of the artist that right. comes to a concert, I've always wondered, how do you go about selecting who is going to be on that show? And then once you select that, do you hit these people up on social media? Or how does this all come together? Oh, no, no, no. You stay away from social media because you get robbed going on social media. Okay. Uh, what you do is, like I said, you do, you do research. Okay. Uh, I mean, they have agencies. So once you get in, once you build a resume, these agencies will talk to you. And they even contact you. So I built, I had a few good successful concerts, mm -hmm. and agencies reach, reach out to me. Wow. But with this, with this particular event, my mom put this lineup together. She did? I should have no. known. Oh, your mama old school. Right. 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 Uh-huh. Right. Right. Especially with Betty Wright. Right, right. Uh -huh. So uh, she she been trying to put events together for me, but I've been hard hit. Like, I don't need you. You don't know nothing about concerts. So you thought you and knew now, it. Right, right. Now right, is she right. getting a cut of the commission right. on this one? Oh, my God. <laughs> She better get a cut. <laughs> She's waiting on it. She's waiting on it. That's really sweet. What, what was that like going through with her? Like, did she did she pick and then you went and and reached out to their agencies? Well, she's been trying to give me cut. She she's been putting her input, but like I said, I've been going my own way. So mm -hmm. I got hit across the head a couple of times. Nice, I said, well, let me try. Nice. Let me try mom way. And uh, mom way worked. It's worked. Imagine it's worked. that. It worked. So you guys have been going to different cities. Well, this, just the first city right here. Okay. We, we are going to different cities, yes. Yes. So why Jacksonville? Other than because Glenn Jones is from Jacksonville. Right. So why did you choose Jacksonville to kick off this tour? Well, Jacksonville is a tough market. Like, we know. It's really tough. Slow to buy tickets. Mm -hmm. Why we don't buy tickets? We're, just, we're last Come on, give it to me from a promoter standpoint. Everybody's always saying how Jacksonville don't support, Jacksonville don't support. But then when there's nothing to do, they complain. So we give it to you, you don't buy, and then you complain because there's nothing. But see, Jacksonville is kind of different. The Jacksonville has the memo of going out of town. So everybody in Jacksonville, they like to go out of town and have fun, mm. which is kind of crazy because if I have a nice house, I'd be crazy telling you about my neighbor's house if my nice is, if, if if my house is nice. Like Jacksonville is one of the one of the biggest cities in the country, but we tend to like to go out of town and have fun. Mm -hmm. And Jacksonville has something that m major cities don't have. We have a, a football um, mm -hmm. team. We have the Sharks. We have a, a, a we have so much stuff. Well, now we got the new baseball. amphitheater next door. Yeah. But, but but we don't we don't pay attention to the major. Things we have here, we like to go out of town and have fun. Because the music sounds better in Miami. Right, for some strange somehow. reason. Right. Yeah. And those $15 beers do too, I guess. Right. Mm. I don't understand. Mm. And it, a, lot of, uh, a lot of things is uh, when these events come to town, they cost too much money. So, like, if you go to a city like Miami and you get a, you get like, somebody like 
I ain't gonna say Beyonce because that's that's kind of different. But you get a major artist, you may pay forty, fifty, sixty dollars a ticket. But when it come to Jacksonville, another you know these promoters come in asking for a hundred to two hundred dollars a ticket. Yeah, we and know. And that's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And and it's not it's it's, it's kind of bad on the promoter because a lot of people are not supporting. So they have to make the tickets so high because oh, let's wow. say if you want 3,000 people, and you make the tickets like $60. Well, we know 3,000 people not coming, so we'll make it a $120 ticket and we're just expecting $1,500. Mm. So it worked both ways. Wow. What's been the most challenging part of your role? Well, the most challenging part of my role is earning respect. Oh. And like, I do major events. I've grossed so much money. I have a lot, of, a lot of fun doing it, but I get undermined because you know when I walk into these arenas, when I go into these banks, I'm like, hold on, this guy don't look like he's mm -hmm. old enough to be doing mm -hmm. this. Even when I'm on the phone, they, they, they do everything. But when I walk into these meetings, when I walk into these, you know, events, I'm like. I may need okay. to check him out mm -hmm. because you know most promoters is old. I'm mm -hmm. probably probably the youngest yeah. promoters in the country. Let your work speak for itself. How right. old are you, if I, you don't mind me asking? Twenty-five. You're just twenty-five. Wow. Yes. Wow. Okay, so let's go back and talk about the concert. Right. Betty Wright, Shirley Murdoch, Glenn Jones. Angela Wimbush. And Angela, these are legends. They have right. been. My mama used to listen to this music right. while she was smoking a cigarette. <laughs> And I used to have to sit around and listen to her put it on repeat. So talk to us more. What can people expect from this show? Well, uh, with my event, I do, I kind of mix it up. Uh, I have a comedian that'll be hosting me. Oh. And plus I bring in a, a guy that do poetry, j oh. poetry, just a little bit. Local? Local, yes. Okay. Do what? Poetry. Poetry. Oh, poetry. poetry. Yeah. Oh, okay. So okay. we come uh -huh. in That's cool. to try to yeah. get them warm. And you know, most older people, they love it. Half of them don't even know they love it until the guy is doing his thing. Mm -hmm. And then we come in and try to have a good time. You know, I like, I love helping people. And these events, you know, I get so, you know, compliments yeah, of, of it that, you know, it's a dream come true. Well, how do you want people to walk out feeling and talking about this show? Well, my, what I want to do is because I'm 25, I kind of want to build a foundation, just like the Funk Fest. When the Funk Fest come in town, you don't even have to know who's coming. You people buy tickets because they know. Only if it's $25, though. Right. But, <laughs> but they, you're going to buy them. Like, you, no matter who is on that mm -hmm. um, ticket, on lineup, yeah. you buy them because it's they done built up a yes. fund. It's not even that. They done built up. Their resume is, is, is huge. So that's what I want with this event. And not even just this event, period. When they hear Full Entertainment, when they hear William Davis, they know for a fact they're going to get their money's worth. So that's what I want to do. I want to have it consistent. Hmm. Well, you're getting okay. there. Big names yes. like this yes. and I'm sure the you success you've already it. had. Yes. You'll get the there. best of luck to you. Good luck at the show. And thank tell you. your mom I said thank you well, she's for watching. bringing Betty Wright <laughs> to, to, to Jacksonville. Trust me. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, the Legends of Soul concert is July 22nd at the Times Union Center. You can get your tickets on Ticketmaster.com. And if you need a little bit more information, check out the Legends of Soul Tour Facebook page. It's going to be a great night. All right, coming up next, what does it take for you to get over an argument with your boo? Mm -hmm. We discuss how the key to making up is very different from men and women. Stick around, y'all.